Hey, how's everybody doing today? Great Beard The More YouTube channel, Live Mega International Outreach. Hey, y'all, guess what? Hey, parents, stop lying to your children about who their father is or who their mother is. That's trifling. That's low, worthless character. Now, that's black. Because that's what black means in the Oxford Dictionary. Hey, y'all. Did y'all get your Oxford Dictionary? Did y'all order them? It's an Oxford Etymology Dictionary. You need to get one so you can really look up that word black. But yeah, um, that's the low worthless character for any parent who has brought a child into the earth and then they don't want to tell them the truth about their parents. If that's you, shame on you. woe unto you because it's unnecessary and it gives your child no redeeming value to look forward to and that child is robbed of a truth that could have been easily given but instead you chose or whoever I'm talking to because I have a friend who has been through that and I, and, and, and I know more than one matter of fact I know more than like maybe like seven or eight friends of mine that their mother and father just flat out lied to them about who their parents was. Wow. Disgusting. Not kind. So here's why I bring this up. This is why you wonder where you are. All parents out there. If your child comes to you and asks you a question about their childhood, why are you lying? Oh, I get it. Because you have no integrity. You major in dishonesty. You have no character. And you have low principles. And guess what the thing is? The messed up part about it is on the behalf of the child. The child still has to love you because they have to honor you because you brought them to the world. But they have to honor a fraud. Wow. I had to get that off my chest. All y'all parents who want to lie to your children, you're going to pay a harsh penalty for that in the spirit realm. And why? You didn't have to do it. It was no redeeming value in that. And then you say, what? But I love you. I didn't want to hurt you. This goes out to all those children out there that I have empathy for and grown adults who find out that their parents was manipulative liars. <sighs> but you know, we got to forgive them. Know why? Guess what the scriptures say? Guess what public law 97-280 say? I got to find it too, but I know it's in Psalms. It says, all men and women are liars. So we all got some work to do, don't we? See, sometimes when you do stuff like that, what eventually happens is, but eventually, it's a good thing that happens is that you will earn and learn some humility. But the thing about it is you learned it the only way you learned it was that you had to be humiliated. Don't you wish you could have done it all over again? Noble Dry Lee said, if only I can get you to start thinking. If only I could get you to start thinking. You say you love people. You say you want to unify. You say you want somebody to come over to the house to eat dinner. You say you want to go Christmas shopping. You say you want to do all these things. You say you want to have a cookout. You say you want to have a picnic. You say I need to talk to you about some things. But when it comes to the truth about their childhood, you want to lie to them? 
woe unto you. But we forgive you. Hey, y'all, that didn't happen to me. That's from people that I love. It happened to them. And when I saw how they looked, I had to get it off my chest. So you know who I'm talking to. I got you. All of y'all out there who've been lied to by your parents, or who their mother was, or who their father was, or who their father wasn't, or who their mother wasn't. Why? Okay, all right, never mind. First of all, if you're that person, don't ever talk about another person ever again in your life. Because then you will win hypocrite of the century award. Love you. Subscribe, share, and like. And there's something else I'm going to leave you with. All of us. Time will promote you or expose you. Never forget that. Peace.